When I came back, I had my fixed idea about acoustic jazz from Porter, okay. and and this I had patented in Vienna, and Siemens helped me to make uh, an an US patent. Okay. So they took the old text and uh, it and, and this patent on patent on acoustic jazz report was filed in, in what year? What year? Well, it was filed in 1971. 1971, okay. Uh, I know it was 71 and on last day of 71. Okay. So, 30, 31 <laughs> I, I went to the patent office in Colmar here in okay. Vienna and said, well, it's very important to have a patent. And I took my patent and carried it to Colmar and uh, the patent office was in, in construction and so on. Oh. And uh, uh, the last working day was and they didn't have light, the electricity okay. was. was. <laughs> and you submitted your patent. Yes, yes, uh, well, I, I didn't find them. And uh, I had to go to the WC, and it was a, a, a very tough situation because uh, I didn't find so, oh, no, no, no light. Okay. And I opened the door and got in, and, and then there was, but it wasn't connected uh, things, uh, so <laughs> but I got my stamp for the uh, patent okay. 31st, uh, uh, I think, uh, the patent foreign, uh, 31st, 1971. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. And this was the first patent on acoustic charge transport devices. Yes. Worldwide. Yes. Worldwide. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. The yes. original work. <laughs> yeah. From Vienna. Yeah. Good, yeah. But, uh, but due to my uh, theoret uh, practical uh, experimental results, yeah. 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 So, so uh, when have you done your first experiment results on acoustic charge transport devices? The first, the, the, the first, uh, well, I, I have to admit, I made the, I had the students at the end of my career. Uh -huh. uh, in the meantime, Bill Hansinger. Right. He, I had uh, many, many connections with people coming, people coming from Purdue University. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they told them about the acoustic jazz Bundjord. And Hoskins was a student of Hansinger. Okay. And he made a PhD thesis in in uh, Purdue, Purdue okay. University in Michigan, okay. and uh, then Hansinger founded at the days of STI Space mm -hmm. Defense Initiative yeah. Yeah. Uh, in in Purdue University his company. The name of the company was uh, Electronic uh, the EDI. Electronic, Electronic Decision Incorporated. Decision. Okay. Decision. 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 Incorporated, okay. yeah. yeah. And he was very successful compared to, to my group here. We had another thing where I, I report later on yeah. uh, about uh, surface acoustic waves. But I met him in 1986 mm -hmm. at a SU conference. Okay. I called, I asked him, uh, I was proud to have from, from other. I have uh, said, I have seven 
people uh, working with charge acoustic okay. charts and so So he had seven PhD students? And he said, uh, I have 17, I think, did you say 17? No, he said, I have 17. 17, 17. people, yeah, yeah. In, in the SDI area, yeah, yeah. 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 SDI, in working SDI. on acoustic charge okay. with, with electronic decision, yeah. Okay. <laughs> or much public, yeah. and that was totally, yeah. Uh, and and to to remain at at the acoustic charge point spot in 1990, I thought Hansinger has published it and so on. And uh, this is not in in the uh, it's it's an in mm -hmm. here I think mm -hmm. in uh, Hansinger had uh, published and and tried to sell arch, uh, charge and ACT yeah. devices, yeah. yeah. And I met him in 86 and 90, and uh, uh, I went uh, before meeting Hansinger, I went to the patent attorney yeah. where Siemens had had told me to go to this and set in Sears Tower, mm -hmm. Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, and I was totally impressed. When you come in, there comes in a smell of uh, beautiful women, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's the oh, smell. <laughs> a, a very well built. Negro lady came to come <laughs> and, and they take him the, yeah. and they told me how to get uh, yeah. at first uh, contact with Bill Hansinger mm -hmm. and, okay. and send say about it. So I did it what they said and they wrote them a letter, Bill Hansinger, and he wrote me back. Okay. Yeah, I have it still here, the, <laughs> only written. Uh, and we came because I was interested in, in the uh, application yeah, of ACT devices. Yeah. Said he sends me to, but he says he that he has to get from the State Department okay. the exported uh, li license. license. Yeah. So this was the last thing I've heard. And you never received the ACTs? No, okay. no, never, <laughs> never received, received. But, but, it, but you met Bill Hansinger? Yes, in 1986. Yeah, and then no, I met him in, in Honolulu. At, when he gave and, him the white paper. The, you know Honolulu, do you remember Honolulu? Yes. Where they cooked this peak in the... In the Stone on the hot stone in the stone trough, yeah. Ultrasonic symposium. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> and we talked there and I explained okay. to him and said, Yes, I see. It's a charge transport and so on. And we okay. and he will send me but it was the last thing. Okay. And I didn't hear from his company also. Uh, electronic decision yeah. incorporated did not succeed. I think so, yes. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Don Malocha, yeah. who, who uh, some days was with us here in, in Navartec, yeah. he said he, he had uh, contact to Bill Hansinger, and Bill Hansinger became a very rich man. Okay. Very rich man. He has uh, bought a lake. Mm -hmm. Lake. in the States and an island mm -hmm. and a motorboat <laughs> and, <laughs> and he okay. moves around That's very good. so Bill Hansing uh, has got by selling not not acoustic charge yeah. transport 